better than yesterday the presentation of our module because the practical work uh, is always have a big sense uh, and uh, therefore uh, I will give a floor to Andre to start with you uh, with a practical work. Andre, please. Okay, Andre, thank you. So I will share my screen. Hopefully this will work as it should. This is screen number two. Yes, that's correct. Uh, it's not no, not yet. Now you may you are are you able to see it? It's okay. Yes, we see it. So uh, Andrea already told you yesterday what we need to to do yesterday uh, in, in today's work. So first we need uh, a video. Uh, we tried to work with a person. Uh, I'm sure it could be better, but uh, anyway, we have uh, a video. The size is quite big. I also uploaded this video uh, and share it with you. It's already here. It may take a while to upload it and then to download it uh, anyway. Uh, so uh, how to do it? Uh, it's everything also explained in videos, in uh, tutorials. So uh, playing this video, so we are scanning or not scanning we are uh, taking pictures uh, of uh, a person moving picture and now with a program called bot player which can be also downloaded for free from internet uh, the files were also sent to you not the files but the links to this program were also sent to you so uh, you can download it install it uh, and play video and what is important in bot player is that we can obtain several images from uh, this uh, from this video so we go here video video capture and then we have capture consecutive images where we set uh, how many images taken from this video and uh, about the size of it if we say it is original size, this is high definition video, so the images will be at this size. This is quite important because if we have bad or small images, the results are not so good. Uh, also, at the end, the results from Im from video, from images from video, are also not so so nice like they could be from still images so for obtaining a real good result of a 3d object it's the best way to take just pictures but we will show also here how to get to obtain this from video uh, so here's the path so first we have to set the path to the storage where where all these images will be stored somewhere or on or computer we can say how is the prefix to each of this image uh, and then uh, how the number the maximum number of uh, image of images so if you do this do not take too long uh, videos uh, otherwise it won't take at the end uh, all the images and then we can set uh, uh, which frame so uh, every now it's every 15th frame is taken uh, or every millisecond uh, the image is saved and taken and when we set everything from here we just say start and then we play video okay now we can see in progress the images are taken now they got also the numbers here and when the uh, video is to the end it stops or we can stop it also somewhere in the middle okay so the the result is good if we have good lightning uh, conditions so the best result may be uh, to take the video pictures outside in the cloudy weather this will be perfect, but here we were inside. Uh, it's bad to take pictures to the light 
uh, into the light. So at the end, uh, you will see that the results are also not the best. But anyway, uh, at the end, we get some result. But I must say, uh, so uh, your task will be to make the video better and to get better results. Okay, if we stop it now, because I already uh, have all those images. Okay. So just to take a look, uh, here we have those pictures now. Uh, yes, they are here. But uh, as, uh, as I see, uh, there is uh, some bug in, in, uh, uh, in some uh, in, in software. Uh, software. Sorry, it, this was not meant. So if we look at the size, the original size, it may uh, change. Okay. So doing this, I will suggest here to take uh, to make uh, some difference that is also explained there in uh, uh, in uh, our uh, uh, videos, so to have a custom size, original size uh, as, as it seems doesn't work as it should. So take a custom size and and this size it should work then. Anyway, well, once when we have all those images here, uh, I suppose they are here. Yes, <laughs> here. And these images have the right size so if we say say here this is original size and it is perfect so the pot player needs some adjustment in programming as it uh, as it is okay so once all the images are taken uh it, this is a lot of images it's probably too much of them so uh, starting with short videos with less images will be fine. Uh, anyway, uh, when we go to next program, so this is uh, pot player is just obtaining images, pictures. So next program we're using is Mashroom. Uh, also, this one uh, can be downloaded for free. So it is um, free software for us we don't have to pay uh, uh, for it anyway uh, it is uh, f using used for photogrammetry 3d photogrammetry or in short how to obtain 3d object from images so it's used uh, uh, its usage is re really really simple uh, once open it we put images here inside uh with importing images then it's quite important to save our work so to say file and save as somewhere on disk so it's uh, one recomputed it stays there and then we just hit green button start this process may take a while uh it's also a quiet good computer a quite powerful computer needed to this to to take this action uh, anyway it completes it uh, completely automatically it goes through several stages that are here so from one step to another uh, here uh, it's going uh, such a, a orange orange step is going from one to another step here uh, and when it's finished, everything should be green, like here. Do the last one, which is texturing. And also, this green line is complete at the end when the process is finished. It takes all the images that are good enough. Uh, here we can see I input almost 400 images. Uh, for, for now, I would say this is quite too much. Uh, anyway, the process was done. Uh, so working with this, please try with less images, maybe with a smaller part, uh, part, uh, part of a body, maybe a hand, maybe uh, someone's head that he still and go with, uh, with the phone. You can take just a simple phone and go around it and take pictures or also from video and then obtain images. 
But anyway, images are uh, needed to make uh, this reconstruction then. So here we can see what the result look like. looks like. These are uh, points, colored points in space. Here we can see how, uh, how the phone, how the camera was going around an object of this person here. Okay. And really it's too much pictures. That's again, uh, therefore also computer worked for a long time. Uh, what is important in uh, this reconstruction from uh, from images is that we have uh, uh, we have uh, um, the surface that has several several uh, texture on it. So if possible, it is better to have clothes that are not one color like this one, but to have a clothes uh, with uh, with maybe a structure on it. Okay. So this will be my advice how to make this procedure better and lighter and anyway take lesser pictures. So here in pot player uh, take maybe every 20 or 30 image. It also depends how quick you go with, with your phone around uh, or just uh, take the still images from the person you want to make a 3D object. So then at the end, once this is created, uh, uh, this program works really alone. He makes uh, everything by itself. We just hit this start, say, uh, import, save, and then hit start. And then, wait. and then what we get at the end, the result is stored here in this map. So mushroom catch, I save it here. And then it creates uh, these several maps here. They are named same like this procedure here. So meshing is here. The mesh filter is also filtering is also here. And the last one, so texturing is the most important. Texturing here, and we have also texturing here. And when we open it, we have a strange name. Don't be afraid of it, because inside of it we get this textured mesh point obg that's mesh file uh, it can be opened with blender and that's the third program that we are using so far i'm using another one it doesn't matter it's different uh, icon here uh, also uh, about the size so uh, about the object obg file this is one file then we have uh, an, uh, ending with mtl file uh, this is a short file where, where is written how the colored texture is applied to this mesh. This texture is here. Okay, so usually three, uh, three of these files we get. This is already a stored one, a changed one, uh, but anyway, this is on the original one. Uh, about about sync, this ending here. Uh, this is a Windows think so uh, once uh, original windows installation doesn't allow to view this png mtl or obg file so you won't see this on your computer if you don't change this one uh, so changing this one uh, but i have now slovenian uh, the slovenian endings it's about the ending of the files so uh, windows hides uh, these uh, extensions of several files so this uh, this has to be enabled or disabled actually here so it's windows think about this obg ending okay uh, then if we go further to the next program this is blender it's quite complex program therefore i will show just really necessary steps to open the file that we get uh, from all or images so first opening blender we will see one box here in the middle okay so rotating it with middle mouse button with uh, with the scroll okay, we can rotate it or with uh, just a simple navigation about it and then the first thing that we will do we will delete this box 
with simple hitting the lead button, it disappears. And now we are able to import this mesh file, that is OBG file. So ending, as it seems, can be important. Otherwise, we cannot see it. And then if we go here, it's, it's this one. So textured mesh, OBG, everything else stays like it is. When we import this mesh file here, it takes a while because uh, mesh files are usually huge, are big. Uh, because uh, each each triangle is uh, is defined with three points each point has coordinates and it's a lot of data here yes we have it already imported okay so the navigation yes here's this person and we can see a lot of space around it okay so maybe about before i explain something about texture we can enable this texture out here. Yes, it is here. So because we have images, uh, also the texture came with him, with this, uh, this object. And uh, now what is important is the size of this object. Because it does matter what one meter is. And how to check this one? We have a tool. So uh, the object mode, this is an uh, this is mode when we select objects and do everything with them. Okay, so this is mesh object, and now we will check the size, so the measure uh, in image. So it's also important that we can measure something. So what I did, I measured the distance uh, here in the floor. I know from here to here, so I'm holding left mouse button and i measured this one and i see it this 0.66 meter but here in the real world it is one meter and 20 centimeters so if we go to calculator and we have to calculate 1.2 divided with what we get here 0.66 Okay, uh, yes, it is uh, 1.81. So the scale, this is the scale that we have to expand this, uh, this mesh. So we will do it with simple tricks that are, uh, that are on uh, your keyboard. It is scale like S. Okay, hitting keyboard on keyboard S, it uh, it brings the scaling tool. And now I'm just uh, just driving the mouse, not hitting any button. Okay, now I write one one point uh, one. Okay, and now the objects scales at this scale, and then I just hit enter and the scale may now be 1.20 we can check it again with hitting this measure tool and just clicking here and holding left mouse button come to this one oh yes it's a little bit too much i see uh, i didn't measure well uh it would also be the problem yes see that's the problem it's somewhere in space so another or first Think that we have to do is to rotate this one. It's more precise. So now again with hitting the numbers one, number three, this is on keyboard. Number seven, it, uh, it, it is a view in several, several views, X, Y, and Z. And now again hitting uh, a key on keyboard R like rotate, we can rotate this scene like this. And now, and now viewing in another direction, again, hitting R and rotating this scene. So this may be the first step to make it. Again, with R, 
uh, oh, yes, the, the Z direction. Okay, and now with grabbing, like G, grab, we can put this scene like this. Okay. So this may be the first thing to do it. And now measuring more precise. So from here, yes, it's a lot too much. Okay. So the problem is that we are in 3D space. We so the object can be somewhere there, and we are measuring somewhere in air, like it happens before, and now we have to do it again. So we will recalculate, and again we will say we want to have 1.2, but we have 2.12. Okay, let's be precise. Uh, Oh no, I uh, again 1.2 the, the wrong the wrong keyboard again 2.12 yes 0 0.566 okay so let's do it again I'm clicking the select box tool and select the right mesh and now again hitting scale s on keyboard and just write it was 0 0.566 so writing 0 0.566 and now the moment of truth you will try again from this point this point hey, yeah still too big Yes, that's another thing. It stays somewhere in the air, but yes, with some adjustment, with again with grabbing G, uh, it just doesn't want to pick points on mesh. I'm not sure what's the problem now, uh, but anyway, we'll try it again with numbers. Just hit several numbers. Yes, the number seven is view from top and this, yes, now it's correct. It's fine now. That's it. We made it. Uh, as you can see, all the measures are not good. Okay. So this is about uh, viewing mesh, about editing mesh. Now, what is the problem? Again, it's that we just need this part of mesh. So once uh, it is scaled, we can delete everything else except this one. And now we will go to edit mode. So this was object mode when we import and select whole mesh. And now we, with edit mode, we will edit just the mesh. So this also takes a lot of work for computer. It may get warm it the the ventilator may work all the time and now what is orange is already selected and we have to deselect it with a we're hitting uh, on keyboard uh, key a and now nothing is selected we know here is the person and now we will just first we have to enable to select everything true so here we toggle x-ray then with b like box again hitting on keyboard so blender is known for this that using keyboard is really 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 nice we have a lot of tools searching somewhere but just to remember several uh, several keyboards here it's easier and now with hitting delete, it asks what to delete. And we, we delete vertices, which are actually the endings of all edges. We will delete everything. So it just disappears. Okay. Now again, with box, selecting box, we will select another, another part. And again, hitting delete and hitting vertices, it will delete this one. 
Okay, now just to check if the person is still here. Yes, it is. Again, deleting vertices and also here at this part, delete deleting vertices. I must admit the program is very complex, but um, anyway, it's quite powerful. So for knowing it better, uh, a lot of work is needed here uh, and yes anyway i hope with with these short instructions it's possible to come to some results uh, and now uh, if you just observe a little bit uh, this scan we can see it's really skinny it's not in real like that so i think the images are as i already said not perfect uh, there may be brutally, brutally uh, uh, when he, uh, when taking uh, video from transition from one image to another one, it may be a little bit blurry, and therefore uh, this may also lead to this result. Uh, also about about the um, uh, the the surface, it is quite uh, bumpy. Uh, this is actually. Um, and may say a feature of uh, a 3D reconstruction from in uh, photogrammetry. So usually several uh, several uh, such a bumps are visible there, but with enough images, uh, the right images, this may be reduced really really well. So yes. Uh, now once when we have this mesh about using it in for further work. Again, if uh, this part is too big, uh, too big, we don't need it. We can also delete it the same way as we did the this one before. Now, just checking with the the structure, with the texture, the image. Uh, it's visible. What is there? But I'm sure it's not perfect. Uh, anyway, about exporting this textured mesh. We have here file, same as import. We have export tool in several formats. Uh, for us, quite important uh, file is STL file. It's also used for 3D printing. It doesn't uh, uh, go with a texture. So the end result will, will be like that. So without any colors there, but if the color is needed again obg file works fine uh, also the transition from just a texture uh, to trans uh, to transport this color uh, directly to mesh can be done but with several other tools that are not needed here so we won't explain them uh, so anyway just uh, exporting this uh, this mesh uh, and again, very important is to check the scale. Um, again, it can happen that this scale is not completely correct because uh, programs have, I found again and again that they have their own way to work. So it may, uh, may be in meters, the scale, but when you export this file, it can be really small. So it's important to check them in programs that are used after this. Uh, and uh, in, if needed, we may just scale it and that's it. And uh, take the correct scale here. Usually it is uh, the scale uh, 10, 100, 1000. So uh, with just moving the, the, the point. Uh, and yes, that's it about uh, about uh, this part, uh, Drea, did I miss something? I think we, I go through the whole process now. Yes. Uh, thank you, thank you, Andre. Uh, I hope that you received uh, all with uh, Andre's presentation of uh, 3D photogrammetry, some view on how we can, from a video file, uh, how we can, uh, with uh, this process, obtain the 3D body 
uh, model mesh. Uh, so this, uh, uh, all of these video materials, how to work with the softwares are also incorporated in the teaching materials in the platform. Um, and uh, this, uh, these are in the first case. And in the second case, uh, you have um, instructions and video files. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm not uh, sharing it. In the second case, uh, you have... Now you are seeing my screen. Uh, how you can work um, uh, with um, uh, uh, with uh, uh, Sense software, um, how you can reconstruct and make a 3D model of a leg, uh, which is needed for the third case uh, for uh, the um, uh, construction of the kinematic 3D body uh, uh, leg, uh, which is movable uh, in the knee. Um, uh, in the knee. Uh, so uh, I hope you uh, all of you received. Are you received uh, all of uh, um, our files, which Andre sent it uh, to, this morning? Uh, Andre sent it uh, into your uh, emails. So you have uh, also uh, this uh, scan of the legs in OBG file. And uh, when you are downloading the Sense uh, software, you can easily it, uh, open it in, and try to work with all of these uh, tools um, to, uh, to make a 3D model of uh, legs. So for some of you, if you are more skilled with the softwares with a blender, you could your, uh, try your own um, to, to perform the, in, in a blender software uh, case three, uh, which is a kinematic uh, of the leg. But I think the, our time is very limited uh, today um and uh, all of this practical work we will have uh, more um, more time in maribor when we met in maribor at the end of may starting june uh, and um, then we will work uh, with the softwares um, uh, very slowly that all of you can repeat everything uh so um if uh any of you have some uh questions what what i'm doing now i don't know <laughs> mm -hmm. you see my my desktop hopefully yes uh so andre uh, could you go please to the platform and um, uh, show the students back yes. now and i know how to share again <laughs> okay i will do this so uh, what I want to, to show you uh, in our platform in that you have uh, below uh, all of uh, four cases, the quiz. And please go through the, through the quiz till end of uh, this week, uh, till Friday and, and uh, try it, uh, to make answers. So there you should uh, click on this button, preview quiz now. Sometimes I think um, something other is written, but there is the button that you can come uh, into the quiz. And, um, and there are 20 questions, four of the questions are on each uh, page. 
and uh, only one uh, answer is correct. Uh, so, like this first question, the 3D virtual surface models consist of two layers, which two? And um, yes, again, only one, uh, we could say reasonable answer is correct uh, one. So, uh, if you have uh, any questions uh, uh, during, uh, during the quiz or any questions regarding the our cases uh, you could write us the mail or maybe in chat in the platform uh, and we could hear you uh, anytime and uh, we are free to answer you on any questions um and now um if you have students any questions regarding our presentations regarding working with softwares if you have some uh, troubles uh, with uh, installation of the softwares we sent you